Last week in my post on getting lost in translation, I wrote about how you can use leatherworking to unplug and practice being present. When you can focus, you'll notice more nuance in your practice. You can better master the basics, which later enables you to do more advanced techniques. For example, the process of finishing painted edges is very similar to finishing burnished ones. When burnishing, you can sand relatively quickly between coats of gum tragacanth. Knowing how much gum track to put on is its own mini skill that comes with practice and experience. If you slather your burnishing compound, you'll increase the waiting time before you can sand, wax, or do any of the next steps. Once you learn to dial in the amount, the time intervals go down. If you over apply your burnishing compound, you can get stains on the front of the leather. This depends on the surface finish of your leather. Some finishes, like the one used on Chef Crisp, resist gum track stains. Other leathers, like Chef Chagrin, have a beautiful surface but are naked and can stain from burnishing if you put on too much. Some of these stains are visible, but they can be lived with if the piece is for yourself or your friends and family. Making the same mistake with paint is much more visible and much less forgiving. Overpainting can leave permanent blotches on your leather. There are ways to fix this, but overpainting is best something to avoid. The application tolerance for painting is higher than burnishing. You can over or apply gum track by a relatively decent amount and it can still be okay. Overpainting in contrast results in longer drying times, uneven surfaces, or the dreaded overpaint and marring the face of your leather. Discerning when you are done with a step can be difficult if you start with painting before learning to burnish. Painting takes longer because you must wait between coats for the paint to dry. The required surface consistency is also much higher and you can easily get lost doing layer after layer after layer. Taken together, you can see how painting requires similar skills as burnishing, but with a higher proficiency. Starting with the foundation skill of burnishing and dialing in your technique makes it much easier to transition to painted edges. Painted edges on chrome tan leather have similar steps as burnishing on veg tan. Profile shaping, surface smoothing, finish application, etc. How you do these things modulates because of the switch from burnishing compound to edge paint. It's an example of progressing in leatherworking by building on the foundation of a basic technique so that the advanced ones come more easily. Many of our readers are trying to improve their work with zippers, reinforcement, edge finishing, and other more advanced techniques. Are you trying to develop your skills further? If so, what are you focusing on?